we're going to look at how to find the slope of a line by looking at a graph. This is one of our typical graphs, and as you can see, we have two points located on it, one right here and one right here. And this graph, as I read it, we read graphs just like we read a book. We always move from the left to the right. So I always start moving this direction. As I move in this direction, looking at my graph, my line is going up. That's how I know that this slope is positive, because the line is going up as I move from left to right. What I'm going to do is find the slope by looking at these two points that are on it. The slope is always written as rise over run. What that means, rise, is how many lines I need to go up to be at level with the next point. And run is how many lines I go over to the right to run into the next point. This is always written as a fraction. We are always going to move and from the left to the right just like we read a book. And we're going to start with a point that's always on the left. In this case, that's this point down here. And what I'm going to do is count how many lines it takes to go from this point until I'm even with the next point. So from here, I'm going to go up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my rise then is six. Remember, it's a fraction, so it's going to be six over another number. So from here, I'm going to go and count how many I go over to run into the next point. So I go over one, two, three, four, five, six. So the slope is six over six, but whenever it can be simplified, it should be simplified. So I ask myself, how many times does six go into six? Six goes into six once. So the slope of this line is one. Same thing when we have a negative slope. I know that the slope is negative because it's going to be pointing down. How is it pointing down? Well, what I'm going to do is first look at my line. I'm going to move through the graph from the left to the right. As I move from left to right, I can easily see that this line is going down. So this is going to be a negative slope. What a negative slope means is that I'm going to go and count my rise, but my rise is actually going to go down. So my top number will be negative. So I'm always starting at the point on the left, that's this point here. I'm going to count how many lines I have to go down to be even with the next dot. So I start here, I go down one, two, three, four. So again, it's always written as a fraction. Since I went down, it is a negative four. Now from here, I'm going to count how many lines I go over until I run into the dot. I go over one, two, three, four, five, six. So my slope is negative 4 over 6. If I can reduce it, I should reduce it. So here I'm going to divide top and bottom by 2. And I end up getting a negative 2 over 3. And that's my slope, negative 2 over 3. The negative is very, very important because it tells somebody looking at just my slope that this was a downward pointing line. Do not forget that negative. Sometimes we're given lines that don't have points already on them identified, so we have to go and look at it and find them. As you can see on this graph, I don't have any points on this line, but I can go and look at it and see where my points are. I just look by looking at where my line goes through directly the center of another set of lines. Here it goes through the very center between these two lines of right here. Here it doesn't, it ha bisects a line halfway through, it's not in the corner points. Here's another place where it runs into it. Here's another one, another one, another one, another one. I could keep ten continuing this on forever, but once I have two points, I really don't need to continue. I always start at the left, so here is my point on the left. How many lines do I have to go up to be even with the next point? Here I go up one line, so my slope is going to be one. Because it's going up, as I move through a graph from left to right, as I move through, it's going up, so that's positive, so my one on top is going to be positive. From here I count how many lines I have to go over until I run into the dot again, so one, two. 
So my slope here is 1 over 2. Even if I didn't use this line or this point right here, if I had continued it up and found this point, for example. So if I was counting the slope between here and here, I would go and start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I rise 5. And from here I run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again, we always reduce if we can, dividing top and bottom by 5. So I again get 1 half. So even though I'm the first time I use these two lines, or these two points right here, and the second time I use these two points, I still end up with the same slope because the slope of the line is always the same. doesn't matter where your points are on it, the slope remains constant. There are two special lines that um, are a little bit different. They are completely flat straight lines like this. As you can see, I have a straight line that's completely flat. Slope usually indicates how steep a line is, but if this line doesn't have any steepness to it, this one has a slope of zero. I could go and put some points on here and calculate it. So from here, it rows none because I'm already at level with my line, so my top number would be zero. And then I go over one, two, three, four, five. Well, 0 divided by 5 is still 0. That is why the slope of this line is 0. Similar to that, we have a line that's going straight up and down. As you can see, this line here is extremely steep, it, but it goes over side to side none. This slope is called undefined. It is not 0. I like to think of it as it's so steep I can't even calculate the slope of it because it's just so steep. Whenever you see a vertical line like this, this is undefined. I could put some points on here. So for example, to get from here to here, I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I move side to side 0 because it's already on it. Well, if I go and take 0 and try to divide it into 7, I get undefined because a number cannot be divided by zero. I could even show that on a calculator. If I have my calculator and I go ahead and take seven and I divide it by zero, I end up getting this little message. This is what my phone says. Most calculators will say error on them. This means that it cannot be calculated. It is undefined. So straight up and down, undefined, side to side, flat is zero. And that is the difference between the slopes. And that is how you calculate the slope by looking at a graph of a line.